Um, it's had devastating effects. It's affected our employability. It's affected um, our um, education system. It's affected uh, families just in general from people, you know, like I said, being able to be employed, um, medical costs, the uh, challenge of trying to meet the needs of, of treatment. We don't have nearly enough uh, money to be able to provide treatment and to eliminate barriers to care, like transportation and um, low barrier programs where people may not be ready to be abstinent, but you know they may be willing to take those first small steps. We don't have a lot of that bridging the gap type funding around here. So that's been devastating. Um, between COVID and you know, that we've seen devastating effects over, over the last really uh, year, year and a half now. Between that and the opioid crisis and the amount of overdoses that have, in, have occurred, we've seen, you know, skyrocketing charges for EMS, for the hospitals. Um, it just has had a huge devastating effect and you can't even begin to calculate the number of lives that have been lost and um, how that financially has impacted families.